Hey guys, what's up? Today we want to look at this equation. We want to show that it is a Legendre equation. So first of all, we're going to look at a substitution that we can make to hopefully simplify this equation into a Legendre equation. So first of all, let's recall what is a Legendre equation. So a Legendre equation is any difference equation of the form 1 minus x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime plus n times n plus 1 y equals 0. So that's our Legendre differential equation. We want to turn this equation up here into a Legendre equation. So this is our, our end game. So it's our goal is to reach this equation. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to start off with a substitution. And we're going to say let x equal cosine of t. So this is our substitution that we're going to make. Um, it's not super obvious, but it is kind of indicated here in the middle. We want to get a 2xy, so negative 2xy somehow. So we just start off by guessing. If this doesn't work, we start with maybe sine. But we'll just try x equals cosine first. So keeping this substitution in mind, then we could say that dy dt would be equal to, well, I could use the chain rule to expand this out. I could say this is equal to dy dx times dx dt. So dx dt, I can calculate that over here. So dx dt is equal to negative sine of t. All right, so this would be equal to negative sine t dy dx dx. So that's what dy dt is. Let's calculate the second derivative so we can substitute all of these in. So we have dy dt is going to go right here. And then we need to find the second derivative, the second derivative of y with respect to t, and that'll go there. So, all right, so if this is dy dt, then we take another derivative with respect to t. So the second derivative of y with respect to t would be equal to, let's take the derivative with respect to t of this product, negative sine t dy dx. So to take the derivative of the product, we need to use the product rule. So this is going to be derivative with respect to t of negative sine t times dy dx minus sine t times the derivative with respect to t of dy dx. Now to take that derivative is going to require a chain rule. Now taking the derivative of the first term with respect to t is not going to be too hard. Derivative of negative sine t with respect to t is just going to be negative cosine of t. So this is negative cosine of t dy dx. Now minus sine t, derivative with respect to t of dy dx, well, I first have to go through x. So differentiate this again with respect to x, and then do x dx dt again. So this is going to be d2y dx squared dx dt again. So that's a chain rule that's being applied here. So this is a chain rule. So this is going to need a chain rule. And that chain rule is right there. Now we simplify these a little bit. I know what dx dt is. That's negative sine t, so I can plug that in right here. So this is going to be negative cosine t dy dt. And this is going to be negative sine t. I know that this term is negative sine t. So this right here we already found earlier is negative sine t. Right, so this is going to be positive sine squared t dy or d2y dx squared. All right, so when we substitute or the second derivative of y with respect to t into the equation here, and we substitute the first derivative of y with respect to t into the equation here, 
this is what we get. So now we want to do some simplification here. I'm going to get negative 2 sine t cosine t dy dx because I have two of those terms. This term will stay here. This term will combine into 2, negative 2 sine t cosine t. So actually, what we're going to get is going to be sine cubed t, second derivative of y with respect to x, minus 2 sine t cosine t dy dx, plus n times n plus 1 sine t y equals 0. Now what we can do is we can divide through by sine t. Of course that's assuming sine is not 0. So dividing through by sine t I can get rid of that sine of t and just be left with sine squared t second derivative of y with respect to x minus 2 cosine t dy dx plus n times n plus 1 y equals 0. So this is getting much, much closer. The only thing left to do is remember a trig identity, and that trig identity is that 1 minus cosine squared is equal to sine squared. So sine squared can be replaced by 1 minus cosine squared t. And then we got y double prime minus 2 cosine t y prime plus n, n plus 1 y equals 0. And now this is it, except we just have to remember what was x. x was equal to cosine t. So that was where we started, x equals cosine t. So this is exactly 1 minus x squared, y double prime, minus 2x, y prime, plus n times n plus 1, y equals 0. So finally we have 1 minus x squared, y double prime, minus 2x, y prime, plus n times n plus 1, y equals 0. And that is a Legendre equation. Now I just need to know what the value of n is to solve it. So that's how I do it.